you spend hundreds to thousands of dollars to purchase your clothing for your store so you really want to make sure that you are finding a private labeling company that you know you can fully trust with your merchandise hey guys welcome to my channel so today we're going to be talking about private labeling and I have been doing a lot of research on developing a brand and stuff because I have been trying to figure out whether I should start my own clothing line by designing my own clothing or if I should buy wholesale but I also just wanted to share this information with you guys because I know that you guys really love my fashion business videos and I think that this is really valuable information that could help you guys out a lot too. And if you are new here, my name is Donna and I like to make fashion videos. I like to do clothing hauls. Sometimes I just do like random other videos like my other video was about like things that I purchased during quarantine. I would really love it if you would hit that subscribe button and hit the like button if you do enjoy this video and also just leave a comment down below if you have any questions or if you just want to make a comment towards anything that I say in this video. This juice is so good. I'm probably going to put up the recipe on my cooking channel so if you guys want to check out my cooking channel I already have like four videos posted over there so I'll link that in the description but private labeling is basically when another brand or company sells products that are manufactured from another brand and that is specifically what it's made for It's made for people to purchase from them so that they could sell it on their own so I also want to talk about why private labeling is important and how it could benefit your brand because I think that private labeling could really change the whole dynamic of your brand and it's actually something really important. I think that as your brand grow I think that as your brand grows and even if you can't afford it in the beginning to venture off and do that as your brand grows because it does help your brand out a lot. It makes your brand look so much more cohesive, like especially if you have a storefront, it's so important. And also I want to use the example of like think about if a customer just think about like as a customer when you go to your closet and you pick out something to wear and you see that tag that tag is something that you begin to get familiar with or like if you want to go shopping one day and you're like okay what store should I go to you look through your closet and you see the tags and you see the certain brand but if you don't private label your clothing customers aren't going to really have your brand stuck in their head like that and it'll be a lot easier for them to forget and like let's say they don't even remember what store they had went to to purchase the clothing item from and your tag isn't labeled on the clothing that they purchase so they're automatically just going to forget about it okay so the next thing I want to mention is when finding a private label company you want to find a private label company that you know you can trust. You spend hundreds to thousands of dollars to purchase your clothing for your store. So you really want to make sure that you are finding a private labeling company that you know you can fully trust with your merchandise. That you could trust them to handle your merchandise the proper way without damaging it. And you want to make sure that they're being honest. Um, you want to make sure that they're really organized because also think about when you receive your clothing you automatically open it up and check it check to make sure that the invoice matches up with what you received so you want to make sure you have the right sizes the right colors you also want to make sure that you don't have anything damaged because sometimes manufacturers do send out things that are damaged um, by accident of course because it is just it's just something that is bound to happen when they're producing something on such a mass scale. So you want to make sure that they are like doing proofs and checking things like that and not just like taking your clothing and slabbing your um, private label onto it without making sure that everything is okay. To make sure that they are detail oriented because this is something that does require you to be really detailed with. You want to make sure that they are also handling your clothing the right way, especially if you have white clothing. Also, you want to make sure that they are offering everything that you are looking for. So, also, 
I don't know if you guys know this, but when you look at the care label on your clothing item, the care label also has the manufacturer's name on it. So if you don't want that, you want to make sure that the private labeling company that you are going with, they do offer things like that. I'm sure that they do come with a, an additional cost, but I think that it's important to go somewhere that you can get things done all at one time because getting your stuff private labeled it is a process and it's something that does take time yeah I also want to talk about how it is not illegal to private label your brand um, the thing is though you can't private label like trademark brands you can private label a manufacturer or distributors brand because they are made at wholesale and that's what they're made for they're made for other people to use but like let's say you want to use like Louis Vuitton or Gucci or something that's really illegal and you can get in trouble for that so definitely don't do something like that but also when you are working with private label companies they do tell you what they can and can't do so based on the research that I was doing the industry minimum to get private labeling is around 50 pieces but there are some private label companies that do one pack so like let's say you're starting out and you don't want to have that many clothing items in your store yet because you don't know how well sales are gonna go or you don't have customers like that there are some that will do like one pack or two packs so like if you guys don't know this already when it comes to buying wholesale usually a pack has six clothing pieces it would be like two small two medium and two large so there are some private labeling companies that would be willing to do that but not all also the industry standard is around one dollar per garment and I would definitely recommend that if you are doing private labeling for your company you add that to the cost of the clothing so when you are marking up you are able to either break even or make the money back so that you aren't just spending so much money on this and then not accounting for it and I also made a video on how much you should mark up your clothing so if you guys are interested in that I'll link that down below so you guys could check it out oh there are some private label companies as well that do work internationally so if you want to work with a company that's not in your country or maybe if you want to work let's say I want to work with a private labeling company in Los Angeles I could do that and they do private labeling companies they do get things done pretty fast I hear that some could get things done within like two to five business days which I think is like pretty pretty quick to get things done but you also have to take into account like your shipping time and stuff like that if you are local and you're working with a place that is local then it will be of course more convenient for you you won't have to really worry about spending your money on shipping and stuff like that so it'll still be something that is like pretty good for you if you work with one that is local and the last thing that I want to mention is that some wholesalers do offer private labeling at purchase point so after you make your purchase on the wholesalers website they do offer like private labeling and I'm not 100% sure how it works but I know that there are some that do that because when I had purchased from wholesale before I saw that they were offering that on their websites so I think that is something that you should look into as well and just check reviews and if you know anyone who has shopped with a wholesaler that does private labeling definitely try to get some information because I think it's important to try to do everything all at once and not have to worry about doing things with different companies because then it's more time consuming so yeah that's basically all that I wanted to mention today on the topic of private labeling if you are thinking about private labeling I would definitely say go for it if it's something that you can afford definitely go for it because it does make your brand look a lot more cleaner and professional and it does help bring in more sales like I have heard people say that it brings in more sales when people see your brand is like that so I would definitely recommend doing it that way so thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you guys enjoyed please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you already made it this far into the video thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in my next video